Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time. It's your girl, Miss Judy from Kenya. And guys, I'm a student from Meru University, just like I told you before. Today, I'm not happy at all. Something is not adding up. Actually, something is not adding up. In fact, yesterday, I felt like shedding tears. Our own student from Meru University... Her name is Diana Chepkemoi. She is starving in Saudi Arabia. Like the lady deferred a semester just to go and look for some school fee and also to help her mother who was sick at home. Uh, last week, I guess it was last week, not really last week, this week when our chairman from Miru University, his name is Oguk Huntington, popularly known as General Oguk, he shared some pictures of this lady on social media. But the first day he shared, I thought it was not serious. Then the second day, uh, the photos of this lady, Diana Chepkemoi, I was going viral on social media. I said that this thing is serious. I saw it from Tuko News, from other TV stations, then from the famous politicians called Davis Chichir. He also shared something about this lady. So the lady deferred a semester, went to Saudi Arabia to work for her to get some money to pay her school fee and to help her mom who was ailing at home. So guys, the lady is stuck in Saudi Arabia. No food, no anything. Like I'm going to share with you some of her photos before and after. You will be seriously shocked. Guys, I'm not happy at all. Why are these Arabs treating Africans like animals? Why? So many Kenyans, so many Ugandans. I have friends from Uganda and Kenya actually who are working in Saudi Arabia as house managers. And from the stories... They always share out, actually, these Arabs are treating Africans as animals, which is not good. So it's a high time we wake up and prevent this before it's, it gets at its worst moment. Guys, I'm so shocked. That is not the lady I saw her photos before. She has grown thin. She has emaciated from the Diana Chepkemoi we knew before. And right now, you can't even know that she's the real Diana you knew before. Students from Meru University are calling for help. They want Diana back. We really want Diana back to our country. Even if it is raising for her the school fee, we will do so as Miru University fraternity. So I had a short conversation with our chairman, Anington Oguk, Miru University chairman. He told me that the lady uh, was a 2018 intake, and uh, by the time she was admitted at Miru University, she started pursuing food science course, then later changed on to education course. So... She's a teacher. Yeah. She was pursuing education and she was supposed to be in for there right now. But due to fee issues, she decided to defer the semester to go look for school fees so that she can clear and come back to school. But it's so unfortunate that she is starving right now in Saudi Arabia. Guys, I'm not happy at all. All uh, our chairman also shared the same issue with the deputy vice councillor, the registrar, the VC, the vice councillor of our school. And uh, by next week, I guess the media personnel are going to come to our school, Mary University, so that students can share out what they are feeling about this issue and what they want. Personally, I want Diana back. Let us get Diana back even if uh, we, Diana was not able to talk to her agent because her phone was taken.
she's in a state of incommunicado so guys uh, if you know any person from Saudi Arabia who can help us bring Diana back please please we beg in the name of God let us bring Diana back this is so sad personally as a lady I'm feeling so sad even right now I just feel like shedding tears because I'm not happy at all we are really starving and to my fellow student if you are having fee issues or anything don't get depressed alone kindly share out with your colleagues or the closest friends you trust and you are confident with that cannot share out with other people kindly please don't be depressed depression is real outside here if you like any lack anything in your house be it food be it fee or personal issues kindly share it with your close friend so that we can see how to help you out don't get stranded don't be mistreated somewhere by unknown people like an animal and we are here so guys let me just share with you the photos of this lady and the view of uh, different people different uh, media platforms how they are saying about this lady and even students themselves from the university i'm gonna share with you all that they were saying about this lady it's so sad then uh, the lady had a conversation with a, a lawyer she's called rosemary who made us know that the lady is stuck in saudi arabia so without further ado let me just share with you the photos of this lady and views from different personnel about li this lady meanwhile let's bring diana back to kenya we need our diana back then Vincent Kirui, our secretary general from Meru University, wrote this on Facebook. Dana Chipkimoi Maritim is our Kenyan daughter, a comrade student from Meru University of Science and Technology who took academic leave, left home to find finance for her academics, hoping to come back and change home from Saudi Arabia. Now enslaved and subjected to suffering by her employer in Saudi Arabia. I call upon the county government, the national government, through the embassy of Kenya in Saudi Arabia to locate and bring home Diana alive. A famous, famous politician, Davis Chichi, said this, Kenyan ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Peter Ogego, must resign in our next government. We can't have 93 plus Kenyan workers getting killed and hundreds being tortured in Saudi Arabia workplace every year and then his only achievement in life is arguing with Americans about Obama's birthplace. He must resign. Meanwhile, I call upon Governor Professor Hillary Bakok to work with other relevant government agencies to ensure our Bomet daughter Diana Chipkimoy is brought home as possible the report says she is unwell sami onti mungari wrote this on facebook actually he copied it so heartbreaking share until we bring diana home from slavery diana chipkemoya mary university student whose family went through financial struggles left to work in saudi arabia in order to support her ailing mother and pay for her university fee she unfortunately fell into the trap of slavery as she is being held against her will by her employer who has allegedly taken her passport and phone she's unwell but still being forced to work we need your help to bring her back home the embassy has been informed to have been given her location and employer's phone number see her before and current ailing photos Rosemary, a lawyer who conversed with Diana before phone taken, said this, My young friend Diana, a university student, is trapped in Saudi Arabia. No contract should bind anyone to such misery. She is a young, brilliant lady who only sought to help her family bring Diana back home. Maybe Ted said, a cry of a young girl in Saudi Arabia. This is Diana Chipkimoi Maritim from Karicho County, who was connected to her employer through agent based in Kisumu of 0746 263449. Report shows that her health 
is deteriorating and her employer had confis confiscated her passport. Tuko wrote this on Facebook. The family of Diana Chepkimo is calling upon the government to assist them in bringing their daughter back home. Chepkimo is reportedly stuck in Saudi Arabia. Relative on Twitter identified as Mibi Ted said her condition was not good. Ted added that the agent who took her to Saudi Arabia has been unable to assist them in bringing her back. Oscar Swidi Kipchumba Murkomen said yeah, to bring her back home. A social media user wrote Chepkimo photos have since gone viral on social media media and these are the photos that were shared by Ted Malema TV call for rescue we are looking for a gent of our Kenyan girl identified as Diana Chepkemo who is stuck in Saudi Arabia as her health deteriorates anyone who can help us reach her or her agent to call 0721 586 999 that is what Malema TV wrote on Facebook so guys, that's all I had for today. All about Diana Chepkemoy, a student from our school, Meru University. Kindly share it out widely so that it can reach as many people as possible. And let us bring Diana back home. That is our prayer for now. We want Diana back home. And I wish Diana a quick recovery. Kindly share it out widely because we want our lady back home home and may racism and thank you for watching